Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. SHOT Show 23 was pretty fun. I had a great time. I saw a lot of guns, met some amazing people, way better than last year. Last year was horrible. I called it boring, a dull pencil, few guns, not much going on, low energy. This year, they turned it around and many more manufacturers came out. There was a lot to see and a lot of people to talk to, so I had a great time. But there were some things, however, I did not see, and I want to discuss that. However, there were some great guns that I really want to get my hands on. First, the Car Arms Double Stack. I made a video on this, introducing it, and it's coming. And it brought a lot of excitement. People said, we've waited for years. We're really looking forward to a Car Arms Double Stack. It actually adds some features that we're not going to expect, but I think we'll find them advantageous and be, be happy. And I'm getting the first review with the new car arms. Secondly, Cosaint Arms with the Cost 21. The 2011s are, are super huge now. I saw a lot of them. A lot of people love that in 9mm. High capacity, low recoil, accuracy, and everything that a full-size 1911 offers, and subcompacts too. And so the Cost 21, I sat down with Greg Mooney with Cosaint Arms, and, and he showed me one of his handguns that had 100,000 rounds through it, and it's still running fine. It has aluminum frame, beautiful handgun, and I really want to get that in 9mm. Next, Rossi came out with a new revolver called the RP63. Now, the very first revolver I ever purchased was a Rossi, and it was inexpensive. But these updated ones are great, and what I like about it is it has the firing pin on the hammer like the originals, but it's in stainless steel, three inch barrel, 357 Magnum. The one you see here has G10 grips, but it's gonna come standard with a rubber grip, and I really like wood grips on revolvers. So if I get the opportunity to change that out, I'm going to do that once I get my hands on one. Next, the Ruger GP100. I, I made a video, I said I really wanna get this gun. I checked it out and I wanna get it even more. It's got a 4.2 inch barrel, 357 Magnum, seven shot, beautiful revolver. I'm taking a elevated interest in revolvers this year and I am so excited. I have to beef up my ammo supply because I plan to purchase and review and, and shoot and enjoy more revolvers. SAR Arms is coming out with three new models, and one is a four-inch revolver. That thing's cool. Another is a SAR 9 that is souped up from the original. It's called the SOCOM. It has all the updated features, even a Gen 3 trigger that's a little bit softer than the SAR 9, which has a great trigger, but the SOCOM is great. And then they came out with a subcompact. We were made aware of that a while back, and then... It kind of went away, but now they're actually bringing them to the U.S. and will be on the U.S. market very shortly. Alpha Foxtrot has a S15. Okay, I reviewed that, but now they have the Gen 2 model that's optic ready and has a couple other things. Really looking forward to that. And Live Free Armory has a 2011 called the Apollo 11. That's pretty cool, too. It's not quite to the level of Cosaint or Staccato or many of the other ones, but... It just felt okay, but I still want to check it out. It, once again, it's optic ready, full size, five inch barrel, and it looks super cool. In terms of long guns, the 5150 rifle, he is debuting a Keith Berry, very innovative guy. He made a video on that. A lot of people loved it. Some people said, well, you know, I want this, I want that. There are people out there that say, I want innovation, but there is nothing that will make them happy. But most of the viewers, when I made that review with Keith, talking about his rifles, a lot of people said, that's great. I'm going to look further into that. And the AK AR hybrid that is available with AK mags with the very nice takedown, it's very different, no push through pins or anything like that. And the accuracy, I am told, is second to none. So I'm really looking forward to that. And also a Rossi lever gun in 44 Magnum. Nobody saw this coming. I didn't see it coming. Rossi came out with the lever gun in 44 Magnum. It's got the, the wide loop there. And hey, what can we say? Lever guns are a ton of fun. They are 
uh, a sanction of Taurus. Now, what did I not see? I was looking forward to some shotguns. I really wanted to check out some new shotguns. There wasn't many new shotguns. There were hardly any. I was I was looking for this. And then when I saw this one that looked like the DP-12, it had two barrels and I believe six round magazine tubes and everything. I, I was checking it out. I, I'm like, I, I need to get this. It was super heavy, though. And I was told that it is not available in the U.S. and will not be coming to the U.S. So I just let that go. Didn't see much in shotguns at all. But... I really looked for 30 Super Carry. Guns chambered in 30 Super Carry, and I saw zero. So we've got the Smith models, and we've got the, who else made it? Uh, 1911, I can't even think of it right now. 30 Super Carry, I'm telling, I'm, I, I, I talked about this on video. I said, 30 Super Carry, I don't believe is going to have a future in the gun world. Great concept, good ideas. It's just not what people are looking for until that price comes down on the ammo and more firearms are chambered in 30 Super Carry. It could have a future, but I was looking for that to see if there was any indication that manufacturers were jumping on the 30 Super Carry bandwagon and they're just not. They're not at all. Primarily 9mm and 45 and some 380s out there. Okay, and some really cool revolvers in 357. So there's a lot to look forward to. I don't see much in terms of shotguns or 30 super carry. So we'll see what happens. A lot of times these manufacturers they hold off even after shot show because they want to make their grand introduction. And 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 I get that, but shot show is where it's at. That's where people, you know, get most of their attention. People, I one of the things that kind of irritated me, I don't care if it was a rifle, a handgun, even shotguns or anything else. Oh, like every person in shot show. Like every every time you, you pass every hmm. It, every one and, and and then I found myself doing it, so I guess it's not too unusual, at least maybe it is. I'm just on board with that, but it's a little bit different. But that was SHOT Show 2023. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the people I was able to hang out with. I enjoyed the firearms. And I think that the future is bright in firearms. I'm not so sure with other things as far as the future goes. But that's a separate video for a different time. I can't wait to get these guns. And I can't wait to show you guys how fine they are. I hope. I hope they're fine. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.